Hey everyone, Wanderbot here, and welcome to Soulstone Survivors, made by the same people that made the Rogue Soulstone demo that I checked out a little while ago. It's pretty neat. We're just going to dive into this. Uh, there's a skill tree, there's a bunch of stuff. Uh, meta progression, runes that you can unlock that change how your character plays, blacksmith. Uh, so if you'd seen me play Rogue Soulstone, I think they adapted much of the mechanics and skills and whatnot and brought them over to a fixed camera perspective, top down, uh, you know, uh, bullet heaven effectively. And honestly, it actually works. I'd seen them post on Reddit, didn't actually realize it was the same people at first. Uh, just because, you know, brain. And also, these uh, these assets, I believe, are like a, a bot asset kind of thing. Either that or they severely match uh, a, a bunch of low poly assets I've seen before. And so it's, it's one of those where I like this style, but it becomes unremarkable if only for the commonality of it. Which is a bit unfortunate, but it does look nice and I think they're implementing it well. Uh, interestingly enough, you can actually see uh, the same thing being done with a lot of the other Survivor's clones. Uh, what was it? Nomad Survivors actually uses an, an amount of bot assets. Because uh, I recognized some of the boss monsters from that one uh, showing up in some other Survivor's likes. And it was just like, oh, yep. Uh, survivor's likes. No. Uh, hmm. Crit chance of all attacks? Let's go with that. Survivor's likes. Bullet heavens. I don't want to call them survivor likes or survivors likes because that that just does not have the right connotation. I don't know. It's just look when half of them have survivors in the name. It's like rogue likes having rogue in the name. <laughs> uh, let's see. So smite smite enemies at random locations three seconds holy ranged area physical melee instant subdue powerful strike in the direction you're aiming at de dealing fifty damage extra twenty damage per stack of bleed. Applying fragility or we could do a poison bomb. I'm going to do Poison Bomb, because last time I played this, I rather liked the Poison Bomb. Well, played this. Last game of theirs I played, I rather liked the Poison Bomb, and I like the idea of building towards, like, damage over time effects. I don't know. Status effects are one of those that I think are vastly underserved in games. I don't know if this one is necessarily going to be that good. But it always makes me happy to be able to just poison the heck out of things and watch them just melt before my very eyes. Would instantaneous damage be better? Maybe. I need to get that boss poisoned. I do really appreciate that I can bank level ups. Okay. Increases poison... Ooh. I like that, but I'm going to snag wise for now. I like increasing my poison damage by, like, a smidge. That seems really good. Uh, let's see. Crit strike of all abilities. I don't think... I mean, I'll take it. I don't know if that affects my damage over time effects. Maybe I should have actually grabbed the speed. Because I bet that speed actually matters a lot. Uh, okay, festering strike. 150 damage, poison to all enemies around you. Sure. Got a bit of a long cooldown, so hopefully I can reduce that at some point. I no, actually, I think we're I think we're critting with our poison. That's kind of exactly what I was hoping for. Uh, crit strike potency by twenty percent. Yeah, I could go for blocking attacks, but if even my uh, my poison effects, yeesh. Uh. Let's see, slash and festering strike, slash and festering strike. So we have area effect and area of effect. So all physical spells or skills and melee skills. Otherwise, further crit chance. Honestly, leveling up slash and festering. Okay, that's increases the area of effect of all of your physical and melee skills. Um, in that case, I might want to go for physical. Because that seems doable. Okay, what else do we have? Summon Skeletons, Flame Wave. And I can't re-roll or banish, because I don't think we have either of those tokens. Uh, Shadow Bolt. I know, I'm going to summon some Skeletons. Let's just let them do their thing. I almost feel like they should count as physical, maybe. Damage Increase. Uh... 
Type uh, of all of your existing skills of the type area by 20%. Or just movement speed. Let's go for the movement speed. Being able to get in and get out quick seems like a good idea. Every time you apply a stack of poison, 50% chance to apply doom as well. Yep. Okay. Now I'm here to just bully this guy. There's also these, like, gem mining things, which I should probably work towards. Because I know that's how we unlock certain bits of meta progression here and there. Well, I'm definitely digging Festering Strike. I thought it was going to be kind of a dud skill, considering I've already got a slash and might be knocking enemies away. Uh, let's see. Empower you and all nearby allies. Uh, let's see. Increasing damage done by 30% for 10 seconds. That's a nice buff. We also have... Smite, which might get buffed. Or Lightning Bolt. Nah, let's grab the Might buff. Because if I can keep that up permanently, that should help. I don't know if that counts for the poison damage. Sadly. I, I'm i very glad to see, by the way, that there is Banish. Uh, she, uh, yeah, Festering strike, strike damage? Absolutely. You know, stuff like reroll and banish, being able to curate what you get is huge. Especially because this has uh, a hefty, like, upgrade tag system. Okay. So this levels up the... increases the AoE of all instant moves. So now my slash and my festering strike should be bigger. And it is! I'm digging this! I'm actually digging this a fair bit more than Rogue Soulstone. I know the developers are watching this. I think this is a much better format. I could see Rogue Soulstone actually becoming a very good uh, version, version, uh, uh, a very good survive survivor's bullet heaven in its own right, because it definitely was like ninety percent of the way there. But honestly, this being it is actually kind of fine. The one thing I'd almost consider is giving the option to to let you do like over the shoulder control for this, but that might be too chaotic. I don't know. There's a Chaos Bomb and a random enemy. Flame Wave. Actually, Flame Wave is an instant. I don't know if it gets boosted, but I'll live. Yeah, so it looks like these are my abilities. I can't stack anymore. I don't think they're terrible. Ugh. Trapped there for a second by my own boners. You heard me. <laughs> um, let's see. So all of your attacks have a chance to burn targets. Sure. Okay, and it's Alexi the Plague Bearer. Ooh, sheesh. Well, it's okay. I've been playing Final Fantasy. I know how to I know how to dodge these. I've actually slowed down on it uh a little bit. I've been working on other things. I like it how I'm just like a man that explodes. Okay, eliminate monsters to summon a lord. Isn't that the just like basic starting thing? I wonder if it just pops back up. Okay, AoE of Flame Wave. 100% chance to crit full health enemies. Ooh. Go for vicious strikes. As much as upgrading Flame Wave seems like it might be a good idea, I like the idea. Whoa. I got popped up in the air. I keep seeing all of these poison things. And I'm not... Wait. Oh, no. I can replace. There we go. Yeah. I didn't really want to go for Flame Wave. Especially if I can set things on fire. And it does look like I'm healing somehow. I... Okay. So there... There is a difference between Alexi's poison and my own. I've got to keep that in mind. Uh, let's see. Potency of the might buff or increases the health of summoned units. Honestly, I might just not. Let's go for increased potency twice. I think it just 
literally rammed over him. Okay, well, we got whatever this is. Looks like crafting components. Uh, let's see. Bloodlust. Is good. Does reduce my cooldowns for a little while. Meteor shower. Um, I'm going to grab bloodlust instead of the skeletons. This is not a summon build. Okay. So big bonus here. Uh, you can replace skills that you don't want. Uh, let's see. All poison skills. So poison bomb and festering strike are now stronger. Which is good. I don't think there's more poison moves than than that, though you might actually be able to stack multiple at once. I could be wrong on that one, but I want to say that was the case in the previous, their previous game. Uh, let's see, Fire Shield, Behemoth, or just increase slash damage. Honestly, let's go for the max HP. And then probably focus on healing for a bit, because I have taken some hits. Bad thing is I don't actually know how to heal. It just kind of has happened. Unless it's a thing that I I heal based on levels? Nope, that ain't it. Is there a way to skip? No. Because we could grab Subdue. It looks like, to some degree... Okay, that's something I do wish I could do would be skip something I truly do not want. There's reroll and banish, which are good. Don't get me wrong. But uh, I don't want to have to replace something that I like. Ooh. Skilled poison bomb will be casted twice when it's activated. I like that. But yeah, I don't want to have to replace a move that I've upgraded like several times. Uh with the new move just because it's forcing me to do so. Uh, let's keep pushing lethality. Upping my crit uh, it seems like a good idea. The other thing I was going to say is poison wise when we were fighting Alexi he put down green poison gloop that I could not tell was different from my my own green poison gloop and it's actually something I, I would like to see fixed I guess. Uh, let's see. Shadow Bolt or Thrust? I don't know. I think I'm just going to keep one of these around as like a... Uh, I have nothing better to grab. Let's see. Increased EXP gained. I saw like a green crystal over here and I kind of need to hit it. I don't know. Got me. But still. Oh. And since I've lured them away, at least kind of temporarily, we can snag a lot of this EXP. Holy smokes. I... Shockingly, did not get hit by any of that. I'm not sure how or why. Grab that. Grab Glacier. Throw it over there. I might want to try and do like a build where I go for nothing but big. Like big AoEs. Because that actually seems like a good idea. I'm not exactly staying in melee here. The bomber enemies kind of... So you're making that slightly less viable. Okay, keep boosting po poison bombs since it's kind of my bread and butter. Kind of. Poison pickup radius would turn me into a monster. Okay, resilient double cast again. All of your existing poison skills. I'll admit, I do kind of wish that the uh, some of these like passive skills would apply retroactively. So if I get like another poison skill, it's a bit of a shame that it's not going to get all of the sick upgrades that I've accrued. Okay, firewall, fire bolts, I don't know. Like sadly, I kind of just am indifferent about many of these. Oof, ow, my bones. I do really like the, the visuals for all of these. Like, they look nice. I One thing I often... Uh, often will complain about 
with these low poly things. Oh look, it's Alexi again. Let's see. Critical strikes have a chance to apply wound. Sure. Dude, that that's a passive that's going to apply to everything. Prepare for some wounds, boyo. Ooh, ooh, ooh. That hurt. Okay. So we definitely probably are going to want to start investing a lot into movement speed. If I can. Uh, let's see. Meteor shower. Sure. Goodbye, firewall. Okay. Let's snag some of this. See if we can get anything neat. Oh, unless the green crystal... What? The green crystal is healing. Yeah, it's a it's a healing crystal. It's not poison related. That just has a heal associated with it. Okay. All of your attacks have a chance to doom. I'm curious about fire shield. Uh, you fateful strikes. The more status effects I can kind of apply here, the better. The fire shield is interesting. I don't know if it takes precedence, like if it's an attack power or if it's if it's just a passive. Yeah, I have no idea if any of this gloop on the ground is mine or, or Alexi's, and that's a little worrying. Okay. I'm going to have two lords available, aren't I? It doesn't help that I've built myself slightly for melee, but the, the lack of healing makes melee slightly non-viable. Okay, potency of bloodlust. You know what? I gotta, I gotta do that. Buffing bloodlust is actually huge. There we go. Just kind of do this. Yeah. There's just no safe place for me. We just got to scoot through. Well, I mean, credit where credit is due. The uh, meteor shower certainly looks fun. Okay, he's just doing a, like a shotgun thing. We should probably get rid of Thunderclap. I don't think I really care much for it. Ow. Okay, snag a bunch more EXP. It looks like it takes longer. Poison Bolt. Yeah. Goodbye, Thunderclap. I don't care too much for Poison Bolt, I think. However... It is a ranged attack and more poison. I'll take it. Oh, do I have to, I have to like physically run into it? I was hoping I could just hit the thing. We've got 300 more before the next Lord and I'm pretty sure it's just going to be Alexi again. I, it's the one unfortunate part about, uh, yeah. One unfortunate part about this, uh, is that I think they were starting to work on Rogue Soulstone and then uh, really like, or said like, hey, we should kind of maybe make a, uh, you know, a bullet heaven since that's all the rage. I think it's a, I think it's a good thing. I'm enjoying it, uh, but it definitely does feel like there's a bit of a content drought. Luckily, it's still very much in a demo state, so it's kind of hard to immediately be like, ah, it needs more content now, but it is also one of those that... Boy, only one boss is certainly a problem. I'd honestly be perfectly fine with just, uh, take some regular enemies and scale them up and make them kind of silly. You know, give me Big Snake. Because I don't actually feel like Alexi is specifically like an end-all, be-all, uh, lord boss. And then, uh, honestly, later add the bigger, more interesting ones. 
I definitely don't remember these like giant uh giant ogre dudes with the clubs as much. Uh, let's see. Nah, I'm just gonna keep leveling up Poison Bolt. I don't know what leveling it up does. Because I think I only fire one? I don't know. Well, I'm not dying. And boy, I am spooky to be around. I was really hoping to push my AoE on that uh, Festering Strike some more. Because that'd be even wilder. But alas. Okay, Intimidating, intimidating Shout. Or just Meteor. Eh. I'll just do the shields up. Because I'm not, I'm not building for, for Meteor anyway. And look! It is Alexi again. Hello, Alexi. Except for now he has even more HP. Ow. Oh, boy. This is getting stinky. I think the, the big thing I'll go for next time is try and go for AoEs and not for poison. As usual, poison is a little tough with this boss fight. And also, uh, having a lot of my damage be based on sheer proximity is kind of a mistake. Oh, gosh. This has become untenable. I do appreciate the fact that you can get popped up into the sky here. Come on, there we go. Give me big rock. There we go. And I'm dead. Well, I've collected some resources at the very least. Uh, so let's go back to the main menu. And see what I can do with this. So can I unlock any of these other characters? I can. So we have this guy. Maximum health, body mass, damage resistance, damage reduction, cooldown, modifier. Reduce max health, more damage, less damage resistance, more cooldown, and experience. And starts with arcane missiles. And then we also have the sentinel who has a bow. And then we've got a bunch of locked characters. Who we just can't play as yet. Um, jeez. Oh, Big. We might want to go for this one. The Sentinel has a dash count bonus. Oh, we can't. Okay, so Blacksmith. We need a lot of things. If I want to make Blood God's Mercy. We need Iron, Copper, which we got some of, and Topaz. Which is pushback potency and some other things. I don't know. Oh. You... Oh. Oh. Okay, so we can actually change what we can make. So we need gold. Can be found in the caves of Dalzog. So each of these characters has their own kind of specific weapons. I wonder if they scale the damage? Fiery missiles. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, let's see, runes are not available, but we do have a skill tree. Namely, increase max health. I'll learn more. Yeah, because we could do movement speed. Oh. Okay, I want to take a look at this a little bit. That's crit strike. Recover two health points every time you level up, which is actually not bad. And these are minor soul stones. Chance to get new skills when you level up. Charges per match, one. Interesting. Maybe that's the reroll? Because that's pat. That's banish. Okay. So do we want heal from crystals? Kind of. Heal from levels? Like, healing on levels ain't bad. But I'm thinking the, the pickup radius and the movement speed. Oh, I can't afford any more anyway. I guess never mind. We don't have any achievements. So can I choose a different map? Yes, I can. So we've done the Scorching Valley. Let's go to the Caves of caves of Delzog. See if we can get, get a bunch of Topaz. And also see if this character is any good. Looks like she just does very quick firing. Ooh, I like this. 
It's not particularly strong, but it homes in and does a decent chunk of damage. Not too much, but I'm sure if I could level it up a bunch or get this to multicast, we could become ridiculous. I also just love the animation of our character running around with the staff held high being like, wee! I don't know. There's something really happy about this character. Like, the last guy is just, you know, the dude, and then this is like the really derpy one that just kind of shows up. And it's like, I'm here to have fun. What? Survival? Okay, fine. Damage of arcane missiles and increase the skill level? Absolutely. Oh, it does also do damage in an AoE. So if the enemies are next to each other, they'll actually take more. And yeah, we do have the crystals, but I'll get to them after I've got some levels. There we go. Uh, let's see. Shield wall chaos bomb. Oh, our intimidating shout. Just do chaos bomb. I don't know if it's actually going to be good. But it's also considered a projectile. Seems worthwhile to me. Okay. I'd like to... I, I think I'm just going to try and go... Yeah, see, this is this is the kind of enemy boss that I'd be fine instead of the lords. Since the lords currently aren't really in the game. Uh, damage increase, absolutely. Getting my magic missile to do stinky damage seems like it would be a really solid thing. It might be kind of tough, but it fires so fast that I could probably pull it off. Okay, so we're looking for projectiles. Probably, yeah. I mean, mostly we're just looking for uh, any kind of upgrade specifically for my magic missile. Okay, that increases the damage further. It feels good to kind of have a, a starting build. Let's see. So that's more damage increase. There's also vicious strikes, but I don't think that's that good here. Okay, so magic missile down does 100 damage per shot. Really got to figure out how to reduce the, the cooldown on it if I can. Where's the cooldown? Currently half second. Probably hasn't gone down at all. I care not for any of these. Like, I could go for Poison Bolt, but I'm probably going to just replace it. Okay. Snag wise. Okay. And now I can lightly go looking for... Let's see. I can lightly go looking for things. AoE, that just boosts my electric. No. More on arcane missiles. There we go. I should probably also try and break a health crystal at some point as I have taken some damage, but not as easy as you'd think. Okay. I'm just going to kind of keep scooting through. But yeah, there doesn't seem to be a way for me to manually aim at foes. Fire ranged or might. I'll go for the might buff. I'll take it. Let's see. I don't know. Oh, I guess we just kind of... Uh, sure and through them all. There we go. That was a bunch. Attacks have a chance to burn enemies. Uh, all of your... Ooh. Ooh. Double cast. So now we, we channel two. Chaos gets AoE. Eh. No. More damage on magic missile. Which I think does 225 damage now? I think? Let's just grab that. Maybe... Maybe the void bomb would 
make more sense, but I don't know. I mean, kind of, it doesn't matter. I'm, I'm just here to let Magic Missile do its thing. Uh, I'm gonna grab Fire Shield. Okay, cool. This is what I wanted to experiment with. So we have Fire Bolts that just routinely are spawned around me. And look, it is Alexi again. Boy, you're just gonna be killing him a lot, aren't we? Yeah, I should probably get grab the fire, but it's fine. Okay. Nah, let's just do Merciless. I don't think we have much for crit chance. I Alexi is dead. I'm not sure how this happened, but I'm not going to complain. Uh, let's grab an Arcane Explosion. Replace the Poison Bolt. We're not doing poison today. We already did that. Okay. Boost all projectiles, absolutely. Yeah, I'm just I'm just gonna keep boosting projectiles. I am the man with the gun, and by the gun I mean the staff. Who is dropping meteors on me? It's rude. Uh, let's see, could do chill, but no, let's go for crit chance. Anything that increases the chances of my Magic missiles doing that much more damage is worth it for me. Okay. Kind of blast through, smite, subdue, meteor shower, I don't know. I care not for most of those, to be honest. Especially because Meteor Shower just seems really fun. Like, it, uh, it does its job and then some. Uh, let's see. No, let's go for Merciless. Maybe I should actually invest harder into maximum HP. But, I don't know. Damage increase. I could also work on Fire Shield again. I don't know what multiple of those do, but let's uh, let's go for the movement speed. Okay, Bloodlust or Void? Bloodlust. Get rid of the Lightning Bolt. Like Bloodlust is really good. I just wish I could reduce its uh, cooldown. Uh, let's just reduce damage taken. And that boosts Chaos Bomb. Reduce damage taken. At this point, we might also want to get the guaranteed crit on um, full health enemies. Because I feel like that could actually be rather good. I... yeah. Meteor by Meteor Shower. You were rad. Uh, let's see. Increases damage from the Might buff. Increase Meteor damage. Touch of Ice. Nah. Definitely just boost the, the Might buff further. There we go. Okay. You've got healing. Please actually... Get the crystal. Thank you. Back up to full health. I don't know how fast those things recover. There we go. And yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna hold on to arcane explosion because it's the only thing I've got. Cripes. Uh, it's the only thing I've got that specifically is good for mining. Okay. That boosts arcane. Explosions area of effects. Sure. I wish there was a way that I could reduce the uh, cooldown on it. Okay. Thunderclap, intimidating shout. I, I think part of it is... Uh, I don't know. I almost kind of... 
Oh, replace choices with passive power-ups. How do I, how did I never notice that? That's huge. Holy shit, that's good. I was about to complain about that. I was like, I wish there was a way that I could just ask for passives. And it looks like they've already, they've already got that. Uh, let's see. Area of effect of Arcane Explosion further? Absolutely. Unfortunately, its cooldown is still 7.2 seconds. I don't think I'm going to be able to get around that. Oh, interesting. Fire Shield, despite not being a, a, uh, like a regular attack, is still powered up. Those are, those are still considered projectiles. That's actually big? That's big. That's good big. Okay. So I think the real only complaint I have now at this point. Uh, let's see. No, let's go for Vicious Strikes. Because I could keep working on Arcane Explosion, but being able to crit with every single one of my Arcane Bolts on the first shot seems really solid. Um, but yeah, I think the biggest issue that this game now has is just Alexi. Oh, cooldown reduction by 15%. I really want that on the Arcane Bolts because that'd be even even more ludicrous. Uh, but yeah, Al Alexi is the, <laughs> the big remaining issue for this game. Namely just the fact that, oh uh, boy, only having one boss is a little tough for replayability. It's not bad, but it's definitely one of those where having at least like a couple of different bosses to run run into and contend with would make a massive difference in terms of me wanting to play this, you know, multiple times in a row. Uh, I'm just going to keep going for resilient. Reducing my damage taken by like a tremendous amount actually would be good. Okay, did I actually heal from that? Yes. There we go. And there's Alexi. Right, that is not my poison goop. It is not safe. Okay, replace with po passives. I'm gonna go for wise. I don't know what my EXP gain is at this point, but I want to kind of keep it up. I figure every other passive we can kind of just get more of. Because the, the more I level, the more upgrades I, I'm going to get, ish. I'm sure there's pretty hefty diminishing returns. It, maybe? Uh, let's see. My magic missile is now level 12, whatever that means. Which damage does it do? 254. Pretty good, especially because it's usually the first thing to hit an enemy and it does, it gives it an auto crit. To some degree, if I see the, the power-up that makes it so, um... Uh, let's see, the power-up that makes it so I do extra damage on a crit. That'd be even better. Mag the crystals. Because I need, like... It's 60, right? Please don't have it be at 600. That'd be ridiculous. Okay, snag everything that I can. Alexi will die eventually. There's a very real possibility that we're going to actually conjure two Alexis simultaneously. Which, I mean, luckily he's not really that big, big of a deal. Okay, more re resilient or more merciless? I'm going to keep pu pumping resilient. I've got five of them. I think it caps at, like... 90% damage reduction or something like that. Like, you can get it really low. Oh, there sure are a lot of crystals down here. I will take them. This will take six damage here and there. If I could have just a smidge of self-heal. Then we'd be in a magical place. I mean, the healing crystals are common enough. They could be more common. There we go. 
keep snagging loot. Keep running in circles. Oh, no, nope, didn't get it. All right, there we go. So what do we have? Uh, re oh, reduce the cooldown of the might buff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you can find upgrades like that. They're just really rare. Boy, I would love that for the uh, bloodlust. Ooh. Guess those shots tracked me a little bit better than I thought they would. Okay, let's go looking for a health crystal. There should be at least like one or two on the map. Maybe? Maybe not. I don't know. But like, what else am I going to do? I can wander aimlessly. Nothing can stop me. Break the bones. Wow. I'm certainly enjoying specking for magic missiles, but I think I'm gonna have to try like a big AoE build at some point. It would be nice if there was like a waiting system, you know, the more projectile tags you get. Oh, we now have double Lexi. And I think I'm dead, but that's okay. Nope, didn't die. Am dying. I need to reduce the cooldown on my magic missile. No, I didn't. Yes, I did. There we go. But yes, we have two we have two Alexi in play, which is uh not great for my ability to survive. But also, I don't know, I've been alive for thirteen minutes, really only thirteen minutes? Wow. I guess you were just not meant to survive long in this, but I do like quick quick play satisfying bullet hell heaven heavens. Bullet heavens. Okay. Increases arcane moves, arcane explosion, EXP. Let's uh, just snag that. Honestly, just knowing that I can skip power-ups that I don't want is going to be huge. It's really going to let me curate out way more interesting runs in the future. Because I definitely picked a, a couple of things that weren't that good. Okay. Well, I'm at like 90 yellow crystals, so I might actually be able to get that staff. Oh, and we did kill that other Alexi. I... Okay. We killed him here. I don't actually know what that does. That might just be a bunch of uh, meta currency. If it's just the blue crystal. But I also could be quite wrong. Oop. Okay, passive power ups. Swift. Ooh, I like Swift. So that means I get two dashes, which actually is going to be kind of great for getting around things. We might survive for a while yet. Alexi is still, like, busted strong in a way that is almost assuredly un... Uh, I don't want to call it unstoppable, but, you know, it's going to take a while before I kill him. We might have two Alexis in play most most often here. Ooh, this one's, like, glowing? I have no idea. Anyway, my main goals are twofold. Get as much meta progression as I can, and get as many crafting components as I can. Okay, Fateful Strikes do Doom. It's kind of there, but let's go Lethality. Just keep pu pushing our crits. So I don't know how many lethalities do I even have. Three, looks like. All these sad dog noises as I'm just wrecking the wargs coming after me are a little, a little perturbing. You know, I'm not. 
I'm not the biggest fan of dogs. Don't, don't, don't that, turn that into an argument in the comments or anything. But uh, I don't like hearing sad dog noises. Okay, I'll, I'll revise that. I don't really have much against dogs. I just have a lot against really bad dog owners. You know, I go on a lot of walks and I commonly see... Ooh. Areas will now be cast twice. Great. I don't know if that includes my arcane blast, but it does include the meteor and the bomb. Which means I really, really need to go out of my way for some goofy, uh, goofy garbage. I really also want to work on banishes. Though, I almost wish that this game took a, uh... Took a page out of, like, Nova Drift's book and, uh, put Banish, uh, as, like, a boss drop. Like, a really uncommon one. But, you know, every once in a while, you just get, like, a Banish charge or something. I guess that's not exactly a Nova Drift thing. You just got rerolls. Still. Point stands. I think it would be way more satisfying. Hey, look. It's Alexi again. Who'd have thought... I don't think I'm going to stick it out for five lords. I just don't have the gumption for that. All right. Nah, none of these. Reduce all damage taken by one. Oh, that's... That's solid. Oh. Well, I think we get those resources, maybe. I was going for the crystal and then he boomed me. Alright, so we could buy a new character. Oh gosh, I need 600 for this. <laughs> I mean, it's going to be worth it? Yeah, dealing 5 damage and applying burn. Does burn stack? I have no idea, because this might not actually be as good as I think it is. But, is what it is. Uh, so let's go back to the skill tree, because I think increasing our pickup radius... is worthwhile and then I don't know one into that I think the rest of these are too expensive okay well either way this is a good stopping point at least for now I like what I'm seeing so far it's got a long ways to go I uh, namely once again the the bosses need to just have some variety just to make them interesting uh as they as it currently is fighting Alexi over and over again is it's not that bad, but it doesn't make me excited to do another run. You know, the build variety makes me excited to do another run, but Alexi himself is just kind of eh. I, I seriously think just scale up a bunch of regular enemies and make them a little bit more interesting. You know, give me give me just a regular goblin, but make him permanently on fire. And I just can't be close to him. Because he does, like, mega tick damage. But otherwise, like, you can kind of just kite him around. Or... Gosh, I don't even know. I mean, really just big spider, big big skeleton mage that drops even more more meteors. But maybe the meteors destroy everything so that I just have to dodge while I try and kill him. And all of his minions just keep getting wrecked. Or like a really big uh oh. One of the uh one of the bomber goblin enemies or whatever, you know, with the, the powder kegs on their back. But when you kill him he splits into two. You know, do the classic slime thing, but it's explosive. I don't know, just scaling up that level of variety would make this so much more fun. Uh, I'm so glad that you can also pass on things in a way that just lets you pick a passive. Uh, to the point where actually banishes and rerolls aren't as necessary as I'd like. Uh, or aren't as necessary as I thought they would be. Uh, not as I'd like, I don't know. Anyway, but they're not quite as necessary as I, th I thought they would be. And so it's kind of one of those where it's like, oh, yeah, so if I really want to pursue nothing but, like, Meteor Swarm, I totally could. It doesn't look like you can take repeat skills. I know that was something you could do in Rogue Soulstone, uh, but you can't do in this one. And honestly, that's probably fine. I do kind of wish some of the passives would apply retroactively. Like, the legendary ones, I feel like should. Maybe not the skill level ups, or maybe the skill, I don't know. It's just, you know, if I'm going for, like, a Meteor Meteorite, or Meteor Meteor Swarm build, uh, it'd be kind of a shame to get the like, hey, your meteor meteor cast double twice, uh, like, 
your meteor has double cast and it's like oh cool two meteors and then you immediately get meteor swarm and it's like oh come on you know that could have been so much cooler but i don't know anyway with all this said it's definitely a, a bullet heaven keep my eye on and it's definitely something that i'd be super down for playing more of <laughs> i think i said that about their their last demo too for rogue soulstone and it was like yeah you know i'm looking forward to this whenever it comes out and that remains true uh, it's still a long ways to go, but in a crowded field, it has a niche. Still think it needs more, but it's got that niche, and I like the infinite scalability of it for the most part. That it's not like your skill hits level 10 and it's like, alright, it's capped out, and it's like, nope. But it would actually be really interesting if maybe every... Oh, that would be huge. Every X number of uh, skill levels, because the skill level thing didn't seem to do anything. Maybe it scaled damage, but that was it. I think it would be really cool if every five skill levels for every skill and passive, if you got a choice of like one or two minor modifications, you know, so arcane missiles, uh, maybe when they hit an enemy, then they spawn two smaller missiles that will then seek out another enemy nearby or something like that. So it's kind of a cascade missile effect or, you know, just a bigger AOE or, uh, I don't know. I don't know. There's a lot of different ways that it could be done, and I'm I'm really quite curious to see how that would result. It could break balance in the worst possible way or be more work, but I think that with inf infinite scalability could get real fun. You know, what if you got your arcane missiles up to 50 at the cost of every other skill, but your arcane missiles are stupid? I don't know. I, I think that'd be the... That would be worthwhile, especially because I don't really play these games for the ba for the balance of it. I think some people do, and I think to some degree, like, it is important to give people difficulty options. Oh, map pro progress. That's interesting. But at the same time, you can also just, like, add harder modes or harder levels, maybe, to also cope. But, I don't know. Anyway, with all of that said, uh, if you guys want to try Soulstone Survivors yourselves, it's available on Steam as a demo. I'm going to leave a link to it in the description below. I can word today. Uh, and it'll be out at some point, probably. We'll see. But honestly, it's still a pretty fun hour-long experience, at least in my opinion. Maybe like two or three. Uh, but with that, if you guys like this video in any way, shape, or form, leave me a like. Helps more than you know. And if you want to see more rad new indie games every single day, then hit subscribe because I've got absolutely tons uh, coming out all the time. So with that, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.